Dear Brittany, today's the day. I wanted to begin by thanking you, not only for your endless love and support, but also for your constant encouragement and motivation. You always drive me to do the best and be the best that I possibly can. almost eight years now and as I become your wife today I get the privilege of loving you for all the rest of our years. I've always dreamt about this day, I've dreamt about my dress, the flowers, the songs that I would dance to, but most importantly I've dreamt of you. There was always something about you from the day we met that I knew I truly wanted in my life. I hope that if I annoyed you enough <laughs> you would give me a chance. <clears throat> Saying you're my best friend could never fully explain what you are to me. It means that you are my absolute everything, everything I didn't know I needed, everything I was told to wait for, everything that my parents had hoped for me. A guy like me really had no business talking to a girl like you, but somehow it worked. Fast forward several years later and I wouldn't change it for the world. Our lives have been knitted together by both joy and sorrow. We have walked through pain and loss and learned how to support each other in all things. Nick's one of the most hardworking guys I know. And growing up, the traits that I've learned from him, and he just cares about his family, he's compassionate. Just so many things I could say about him. I... She embodies all the qualities I always wanted in a sister growing up. She's caring, supportive, a good listener, and always adds something valuable to any conversation. in thoughtful ways. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. I promise to always choose you. Not because I have to, because I want to. I promise to always love you and be your best friend whenever you need one. Most importantly, I promise to do whatever it takes to be the best husband I can be because you truly deserve it. Jordan Jones. It has been and always will be you. Thank you for choosing me every day for the past 2,610 days. I promise to always choose you back. I love you. <laughs> Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I do. And in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him, as long as you both shall live. I do. Nicholas, you can kiss your bride. Around.
around that time is when he met Brittany, and by met Brittany, I mean tried a few times before actually given the chance, but let alone, here we are. I remember the day he came home, and he said he met a real nice girl, Brittany, from work, and I was like, yeah? He was like, yeah. And it wasn't much longer after that, probably about a month later, he was bringing her home, and ever since then, she's fit right in the family. Give me, give me that sunshine, sunshine. You see, Brittany, you're not the only one who's head over heels in this relationship. Nick literally and metaphorically fell for Brittany, too. I feel so lucky to have you as a sister, Brittany. You truly bring out the best in Nick. I don't always know how you do it, but thank you for being everything you are to him. It means the world to me, and he said it a million times, but you truly are the one for me. Give me, give me that sunshine, sunshine. Give me, give me them good times, good times. Nothing, nothing but good vibes, good vibes. Give me, give me that sunshine, sunshine. Bring on the summertime. So, here's to Brittany and Nick. Remember, marriage is a lot like a bike race. You might fall over, you might get knocked into a fire pit, but at the end of the day, it's all about picking yourself up, dusting off, and carrying on together. And Nick, please keep the snowboarding tricks to a minimum. They say you don't marry the person you can live without or live with. You marry the person you can't live without. And Nick and Brittany are a prime example of that. Can we all raise a toast to the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Jones?